Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, today is the first lecture of kinematics. Okay, and I am going to teach you nine points which are very very important. Okay, and first I am going to explain displacement. So displacement represent by S or sometimes X, mostly by S. And displacement have three points. Okay. So displacement number one criteria, sometimes S equal to zero, sometimes S is equal to positive, and sometimes S is equal to negative. Okay. So this three point four displacement. Similarly, three for velocity and three for acceleration. Okay. When S is zero, I can say P is at P stand for particle. I had full words. So particle is at particle is at observer's observer position. OBS stand for observer. Throughout I will I will write observer like a OBS. Okay. So particle is at observer's position. Okay. When S positive, I can I will see here particle. This one heading second and third. So particle is ahead of observer. Ahead of observer's position. Okay, third number negative. Particle is behind of observer's position. Is behind of observer's observer's position. Let's talk, let's talk about the idea example. For example, this is a finish line. And this is a starting point. This is the observer standing here. One particle standing, standing beside of this one. So it's called a, a P1. And one is here, P2. And one is behind, P3. So he is a five meter behind. So five meter behind. So S is minus five. And this person is two meters ahead, so S is plus two. And this is standing beside the observer, so S equal to zero. Every person will start from here and try to reach towards finish line. Okay, so you can see from here, any particle be, is behind of observer, so S will call as a negative value. And if positive means it is ahead of. And a zero means it is standing beside. If I'm observer, I will whistle. One person standing beside of me, his S is zero. And one is standing behind, ahead of me, he has some distance covered already. So he has positive. And behind of me, he is deficit of some meters, I think here. Let's talk about the uh, velocity. So again, we have a represent by V. And we have three levels, velocity zero, number two, velocity positive, Number third, velocity negative. So when you talk about velocity positive, so zero, so P as at rest, P stands for particle, P is at rest. This is means P is going away, going away from observer, away from observer, from OBS. And this is P is coming back to observer, coming back to observer, okay example I give you here. For example, this is an observer's line. So particle is here starting, so rest, going here, so V is positive. Stopping here, V is zero. Coming back, V is negative. Again, suppose it never stop and continue. Again, V become positive. It means when particle going away from observer, speed is positive. Okay, it stop there, velocity zero. Turn back, is velocity negative. So this idea, last part, acceleration. So when you talk about acceleration represented by A, it has three rules again. A is zero, number A is positive, and third A is negative. Okay, so when you talk about uh, positive, uh, this is all of you know, positive means P is speeding up. Speeding up, like going fast. Uh, this is what is called, P is slowing down. So slowing down, so slowing down is gradually decrease. And here we have a three rules, one, two, and three. 
P has constant velocity. Constant velocity. And P has maximum velocity. Maximum velocity. Okay. And P has minimum velocity. Minimum velocity. Okay. Clear. So I will give you an idea. For example, this is a particle position. First he speed up, then slow down, and this one. You can see here. So this is what positive. Here what negative. At this point, it has zero value. At this value, it has zero. Here again positive, here negative. So here speeding up, slowing down, speeding up, slowing down, and this was turning point. You know, when, uh, when X, just wait please. Okay, for example, we have a, for example, here positive. It means a speed is, is gaining. I think first of all, all of you know the definition of the constant velocity. I give always small idea. That for example, you, you're driving a car, okay? Your speed is five, then 10, then 20, then 30, then 40, then 50, then 60. So what are you doing? Speed is changing, increasing. A time will come, you can't increase your speed. For example, 120, 130, 140, car cannot accelerate by more than 200 force. So 200, your maximum speed. After 200, what will happen? After 200, you will, what will happen? Suppose this is a situation. Speed is gaining and gaining and let's say 200 comes here. So when you get 200, either you will move same speed or you will come down. So at this moment, acceleration equal to zero. Why acceleration zero? Because you can't change your speed anymore. Right? According to definition, what is the definition of acceleration? Rate of change of velocity is called acceleration. When there is no change in velocity, can I say acceleration zero? Correct. That is why at turning points, whenever turning points come, sometimes abruptly change or sometimes this happens. For example, I change this diagram now, I inshallah you will understand better. So for example, you this, this kind of turn and now coming down and then this kind of turn. So at this point, acceleration zero. At this point, acceleration zero. At this here, from here to here, acceleration is positive. And from here till here, acceleration is negative and again acceleration is positive. So that, that is why you can see that. Speed is changing, speed is changing, changing and changing and changing at this for a small moment. Either one second or like a small time. It is not changing anymore. So this is done. Here we can say it has zero acceleration because velocity is not changing. That is why. Again changing it has zero acceleration. So again here velocity not changing. So by definition when the no change in velocity is called acceleration zero. So we have three rules. So what is called maximum velocity and acceleration zero. What is called minimum velocity and acceleration zero. So maximum velocity, minimum velocity and there's a constant and constant means like moving straight. Okay, so no change that is why. So we have three conditions. Okay, so even uh, for example, again after reaching here, it moving this one. So again, here again is zero. Reason because speed is not changing anymore. Okay, this is enough. Okay, now.